you, thank you, thank you, thank you. How do all, and welcome back to Immersion Gaming and to part eight of Beyond Two Souls. Um, so, in part seven, um, as you saw, I got a bit annoyed at the end of part seven with that frigging pleb. I can't stand him. I really cannot stand that cunt, honestly. Sorry for my language, but I hate him. Proper hate him. Um, so, yeah, I mean, as you saw as well, that made me laugh a bit, did that, actually, where Aiden's um, a bit protective over Jody, isn't he? And he's, uh, he was trying to mess up Jody's chance with that prick um, and spoil the date and stuff like that. And to be honest, I were on board with him and I were completely in the same mindset. I wanted to fuck it up as well, to be honest. Um, but then as it went along and, it, and you realised how lonely she was um, and how much she seemed to like this guy, I just couldn't do it. I really couldn't do it. I was feeling like a right cunt, you know. I really did. I just couldn't do it. So I left him to it. But then what happens at end when it looked like something was going to happen between them in the bedroom. She couldn't go any further because of the, what, because of that what happened with uh, where she nearly got raped in the bar. Um, and he just did one, left her basically, just left her crying on bed, you know, because he obviously obviously wasn't getting laid then, didn't get what he wanted, so he fucked off and left her. So I'm glad I'm glad not happened between them because I don't want not to happen between them, and I am going to do everything in my uh, in my power to make sure no happens between them because he's a slime ball. He, he, blatantly a slime ball and he's got a motive i think that they're per uh, the cia are purposely making him get close to her as in to be able to get her to trust him so that they can um basically make her do what they want her to do and use him to to make her do that you know what i mean and um, that's the vibe i'm getting off of it because there's something about him i just can't stand him there's been too many things throughout the game like the comments where he were with her in um, in the training for the CIA and he was walking off and said under his bed, welcome to the CIA, Jody. I know I keep going back to that, but why would he have said that? Do you know what I mean? If he really liked her and wanted to help her. And not only that, when you got to see it last bit then where he went to collect her from Nathan and them to take her to become part of the CIA. And you know, how he spoke to her and stuff like she was a piece of meat and like the CIA owned her. Sort of things, you know what I mean? I just can't stand the cunt, honestly, I can't, I hate him. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do everything in my power to make sure no happens between them two because he's a scumbag and he's got an, he's got a motive. Um, so yeah, uh, well, oh yeah, and we all, and also Nathan got, I couldn't understand why young Jodie, when it went back to young Jodie again, where she's with Nathan and Cole, she was seeing them two dead or injured women um, and then it clicked. He got the phone call, didn't he, Nathan, where his uh, daughter and wife had been killed in a, a car accident, hit by a drunk driver, basically. Um, and that's why Jody was seeing them two spirits. It were the spirits of his wife and his daughter that must have just died in the car crash, because not long after she saw them, he got the phone call then, didn't he, saying that they'd been killed in a car crash. Wow, that is deep for a computer game, is that? Um, really is deep. It were a bit of an head fuck situation because because i've got kids and that myself do you know what i mean and i thought can you imagine getting that phone call that um you, your wife and your kids being killed in a freaking car accident wow it was, it was just deep a bit of an head fuck situation that um so yeah i mean that's where we left it with nathan um i'm i'm, I'm guessing that's going to be a storyline that's uh that they might follow up on um, and tell us a bit more about but we'll see what we're, we'll see in part eight and see where that goes um i believe in this one as well she does a bit more with the cia um in part eight so that should be a bit more action for uh, action packs for us so yeah i think she goes on a mission in part eight for for the cia we might actually find out then why they're after her so yeah as always people um thank you again for joining me I hope you're enjoying it uh, and if you want to support us at Immersion Gaming and help this channel grow um, as always like I say every time it's simple to do completely free um, and we'll open the doors for me to do much better uh, content for this channel much more entertaining for you guys and enable me to do some uh, giveaways and some competitions and some competitions in getting you guys to come along with me 
to visit some of the game developers and stuff like that on trips out and stuff, road trips. So yeah, lot, there's a lot to come in future for this channel, hopefully. I just need to get it to grow. Uh, and as, like I say to you, the main ways to do that are completely free is firstly, if you can like the videos with a thumbs up button underneath, um, put any comments on in the comment section under the videos as well, um, as in like ideas, feedback, uh, or any just general discussions about the game. Both of them two things help the algorithm, the YouTube algorithm push my videos out to more people, which again should help, as in uh, helping the community grow basically and getting more subs to the channel. Um, but yeah, the main way to help the channel as always is if you subscribe to the channel, which is completely free, and all it does is put my channel into your favourites on YouTube. Um, and you can turn on the notifications if you want them. It's a personal preference that whether you want to be notified it, just in YouTube with a little uh, number on the bell icon at top of YouTube, just letting you know that I've uploaded a new video. But again, that's personal preference whether you want that on or not. Main thing is the subscribing, um, which again, just helps this channel grow and allows me to do much bigger and better things. But other than that, people, again, thank you very much for joining me. I hope you're enjoying the game so far. Let's crack on and get this one done because the next game upcoming is an absolute pearler of a game. It really is and one that I have been waiting so long to play. So I'm just trying to get these videos done now, get them out, get this uh, epic game done and finished for you guys and then we can move on to the, the next one that I'm dying to play. So yeah, thanks for joining me peeps. I hope you're enjoying it and let's crack on with Beyond Two Souls Part 8. Take care and I'll speak to you all very soon. Bye. How do all, Spunk Bubbles? Welcome back to Beyond Two Souls Part Eight. Yeah, eight. <laughs> Silly me, I'm a bugger at her. So yeah, part eight. Um, again, I'm recording this just after I've recorded part seven and part six. Because, as I've told you in uh, them parts as well, I want to crack on and get this game done and dusted because I've got the next game ready, lined up, and it's one I'm absolutely dying to play, and I've been waiting years and years to be able to do so. I'm not going to tell you too much at the moment, I'll tell you all in good time when we get this one cracked on and done. So, where we left it in part 7 was... Um, I didn't sabotage her date with Dickhead, did I? Um, I let it run its course, but she didn't end up sleeping with him anyway because she's still a bit... Pardon me. She's still a bit messed up over um, when they uh, attempted to rape her in that bar. So, I'm glad she didn't sleep with him, to be honest, because I don't like him. He's a crank. Um, <coughs> then it skipped back to where she was a child again with uh, Nathan and Cole um, and Nathan just got the bad news that his uh, wife and child had been killed in a car crash um, which was a bit sad but hey -oh, I'm sure we'll get a bit more on that storyline as well um, and then where we left it just before I turned it off um, Jodie is now part of CIA as you can see from the face pain and she's on a mission to go and get some foreign arsehole who's, I don't know if it's some warmonger or something like that, we'll find out anyway in this part, so yeah that's where we left it, we left it where she'd just been dropped by an helicopter into the mission that she's on her own and to go and find this warmonger or whoever he is in Africa I believe it is, so yeah that's where we'll be starting it from. So without further ado, let's crack straight on, people, with the mission of Beyond Two Souls Part 8. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's get this frigging warmonger. Here we go.
No direct engagement with the enemy. No backup. Check that there are no soldiers around, Aiden. Last time we pinpointed him was at the Zanaki Hotel, which is right here. 
See if you find anything. Go a little further. Great. Now let's go. Let's go.
نحن موجودين This is an Aki Hotel. They've gone.
here. There's one not far from here. Should be easy to find.
لم تتعب من هذا الوضع على من اي وضع؟ القتال لا بالطقس ارجوك انت عشت في هذا البلاد طوال حياتك حسنا اخرج من هناك اخرج من هناك
عندما كنت طاردكم يا رفاق رايت كيف حاولتم تقليد وزعزعه هذا التمرد هل تعتقد انها مجرد نكته وانا صحيح جدا لا توجد كلمه اخرى From where did I see it in my vision? They came here. They must have left a clue. Something that tells me where they've gone.
did the job for me. if I don't help him. Sorry, I, I, I don't understand a word you're saying. Salim, Salim. Your name is Salim. Salim. Jody. I'm jo Jody. Jody? Yeah, yeah, Jody. Jody, Jody. We have some new friends. Ahtarisu, habt takunu musallaha.
Come on. We gotta get out of here before more show up. Good team, don't we, Salim? <sighs> the sun is rising. It's gonna make it tough to not be seen now. The tower. The tower's over there. Alturidina Diabila Une. El Aborje Shabab. That's where I need to go. What have I got to lose? Going straight through. Stay close, okay? Quick, help me! Let's go. 
طوال اليوم انت تعرف الحوال كيف ريد سوف ننتظر حتى يتصل هل سمعت الانفجارات انا لست مستعجلا الانضمام الى شريف قد استولوا هؤلاء الاوغاد على كل المرحله We'll try to get by without being noticed. Lemuza B A Aza. This is where we have to go our separate ways. I must go. Do you understand, Salim? La na troko ki. Yum kinoni al baka u la jani boki. Hasta ti u musahada tuki. Sorry, but you can't come with me. You're really brave, Salim. Someday, this is all going to be over. And you can just go back to being a kid. Jamal was around here somewhere. I don't have much time. The tower. I need to get to the tower.
That's it. Jamal's here. Okay, now find a place close to the house where they can take cover. You know what you have to do. Find Jamal, Aiden. Don't stop. You're close. I won't be able to get close enough. You're gonna have to do it. No. Gotta keep a low profile. Good. Now find a weapon. I've got to do it. Orders are orders. The guy's got blood on his hands. He deserves to die. Come on. I can do this. I can kill him. I can kill him. Come and open the door for me. I need to confirm that Jamal is dead. Hurry! Salim? Abi! Abi! La! La ta mucha, Abi! Ana bi haja ilayka, la ta trukni! La ta trukni! He's your father? Ni maza fa'alchi zalek! Fakal tu ana ki sa tika chi! Tricky, 
Ten years in the CIA. Never seen anything like it. Boss sends his own private helicopter to get an agent back. All the top brass are crazy about you, Jody. You and Iden, of course. Jody, you okay? Listen, 
I know this one was tough, but it's over. I'm going home. It's just another mission accomplished, right? I'll never forget what I saw back there, right? Never. How's your leg? Better when this painkiller kicks in. And the international community had just announced its official recognition of the election of the new president, Jamal Sheikh Sharif. Jamal Sheikh Sharif, one of the most dangerous warlords in the country. And now, sources report that he and all his government were assassinated in what appears to be an unclaimed attack. You have to find Jamal and eliminate him. Hopes were high that the newly recognized President Jamal Sharif would be able to put an end to the hostilities that have ravaged his country for many years. A number of world leaders have already expressed outrage at what appears to be nothing less than a cold-blooded execution. You have to find Jamal and eliminate him. <laughs> What are you talking about? Jamal wasn't a warlord. He was the president. He was the democratically elected president. Your point? Look, we're not politicians, we had our orders. You knew I wouldn't have murdered him. So you lied to me. Welcome to the CIA, Jody. It's not fucking choir practice in case you haven't noticed. Now we had a job to do and we did it. End of story. This might just be fucking job to you, okay? But I don't go around killing people because some poor fucking star general tells me to. What's going on? Joe, listen, listen, you calm down. All right, we'll get back home and we'll talk about it, okay? You manipulated me. You used me to do your dirty work. What difference does it make, Jody? He was a dead man walking with or without you. I have blood on my hands. Some kid lost his father because of me. Because I trusted you. Because I trusted him. We were doing the right thing. What am I, me, Ryan? A toy? Some fucking puppet that you can just do whatever you want with? We're getting massive turbulence. Fuck! I can't, I can't control it. Did you also lie to me that night in my apartment? Dude, for God's sake, you're gonna kill us. No one's ever gonna lie to me again, Ryan. Johnny! Fuck! Thank you. 
we'll leave it there. That's uh, an hour and 10 minutes. Must be getting near end now. Um, I don't see what much more can happen now. Now we know exactly why the CIA are after her. Um, we've seen pretty much all of her childhood. I don't know if there's any more to go on when uh, Nathan found out about his uh, his wife and young man being killed in car crash. Um, I can't remember, to be honest. Um, but other than that, apart from Jody getting away and starting a new life somewhere, I can't see it being much longer. Um, so let's just have a look at this right quick. 28% of us didn't kiss Ryan. Only 28% didn't kiss him. So that means 72% of people kissed the cunt. Well, they must have been gullible then. If they thought that he were actually genuine. Um, 87% avoided capture, which is good. 78% took a weapon of the soldier. Took a we took weapon soldier. Oh, him that we walked in and shot shot all the uh, the guys with. 72% rescued on the roof. 43% snuck to the cathedral. Only 19% passed the checkpoint that were with it back at pickup, I think. And 76% didn't attempt suicide. Yeah, well, why would we? So there, anyway, there we go. Um, part 7 done. Oh no, part 8 that, I think. Yeah, part 8 that. So yeah, um, well, that was an action packed one. Yeah, that's probably most action I've seen in the game so far um, and it was good, I enjoyed that, really good, really enjoyed it um, I hope you guys are enjoying it too sorry if I got a bit angry and swore a bit in that one but I do really get immersed in these games that's why I love these uh, story based games like this, I get right into them, I really do um, and my feelings about certain things start coming to the surface you know what I mean which is a sign of being a good game because it just shows you, you immersed in it and you're right into it basically so yeah um as always peeps thanks again for joining me i hope you're enjoying the game as much as i am um as always if you want to support us here at immersion gaming and become part of the immersion gaming community and help me to grow this channel and make it as big as it can be and get some really good content going um some interviews and stuff like that like i've told you before and allow me to get to the point where I can start doing some competitions and giveaways and stuff and giving something back to you guys as well um, for the support basically and helping me to just to grow this channel and make it big. Um, as always the way to do that is completely free to do. I'm not asking for your money or all like that. I know we're all skint at the moment. All I'm asking is if you could take a couple of seconds out of your time to press that subscri subscribe button for me and subscribe to the channel completely free don't do it to your youtube all it does is add my channel to your favorites you don't have to have notifications on or not if you don't want them on it's the bell icon next to subscribe if you turn the notifications on all it does is it puts a little number at the top of youtube where the bell icon is and um, to let you know when i've uploaded a new video but if you don't want notifications on you don't have to subscribing and notifications are two separate things um, the subscribing is what's needed to help the channel grow more than the notifications um, and always, as always as well, the other way to do it is to click the like button underneath the video with the thumbs up button and to put any comments on, any feedback or out like that um, underneath the video. That then uh, helps the algorithm push the video out to more people basically and again will help this channel grow. So again, thank you for joining me. I hope you're enjoying the game. Um, I'll get crack on and get these parts edited and everything and get them on youtube as soon as i can so we can crack on with the next game that i've been telling you about um which is a good one trust me a very good one um so yeah thanks again for joining me peeps take care of your sins and i will speak to you all very soon bye